I have to tell you something. What was that? I read that you had little self-confidence in this role, in your portrayal. And yeah. I saw, after seeing it, I was like, I want to give you a hug because you're so good in it. Well, I, you're the, so good. But I also reckon, as an artist, right, there's vulnerability, there's so many things, but I'm like, dude, I see you. You're so wonderful it, in this role. It takes a village, is all I'm going to say. Like, and what's amazing is the support network on this, you know, from the producers to the cast, you know, my fellow cast members, to all the coaches that we had. I, I think they had more belief in me than I had in myself, which is, you know, the thing that kind of kept me going. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there were so many times, so many moments I was like, nah, this, I'm just not, I'm imposter syndrome, I shouldn't be here, someone else should be here. But yeah, they kind of kept telling me that I was good enough and I deserved to be here. And that, yeah. And you were one of the ones that had a musical background prior to even doing this movie. No, no, no. I, I, I'd sung in musicals. Right. And that, that's about well, That's a musical background. Yeah, <laughs> yes and no. I mean, like, I, I would by no means say I was a professional musical theater artist. Um, I'd been in a few school productions. Uh, I, I did one production at drama school, and that's about as far as it went. And let me tell you, never was I in tune. <laughs> you know, I think I think I just sold it in in the delivery. You know, um, you do it with confidence. And this is the thing: when I'm on stage, like I, I kind of have this false confidence, the adrenaline, I suppose, um, that gets me through. But yeah. But I love too. You all went to this band camp, and and you guys really connected during that band camp. I understand from reading, and it really came through on the screen. You guys have such a beautiful vibe. I think we were very fortunate um, and we were the very few people in the world to be fortunate that there was a lockdown and uh, mm. so we, we were gifted the, you know, time and, um, and with that we all got to know each other more, we got to know the music more, our instruments more. But by the time, obviously, we got to filming, we were also desperate to just be in another room with another human being. Mm-hmm. Um, but genuinely, it was, it's, you know, you can't, you can't fake that stuff. It's, it's, there's either a genuine chemistry or there's not mm-hmm. and we all... I'd like to, I, I speak on behalf of everyone when I say we all care for one another, we all trusted one another, we all supported one another. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a blessing. I mean, as an actor, it's a blessing to walk on a set like that. And you and Riley have such a beautiful connection. You really do. The chemistry in the movie is so, it's lovely. It's complex. It's very it complex, was lovely. yeah. The, the, the character's arc, the relationship is very complex, but... I, I couldn't have asked for a better teammate, honestly. Um, I think we're both equally self-deprecating, uh, and, 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 and truthfully, the fact that neither of us come from a much uh, of a musical background, we had each other to lean on in those moments of, of, of kind of, you know, uh, uh, fear and uh, pain <laughs> and uh, um, and torture. But like, I mean, the rest of the band, there were moments where they would be talking all the band lingo, and me and her would look at each other and, "What? Are we, what's happening? I have no idea." Um, so yeah. And I know you all are releasing an album for this uh, project that comes out soon but will we ever hear music from you um i would like that i'm just saying i'm voting i I vote yes (laughs) Uh, i uh, i don't know watch this space uh we'll see we'll see if enough people want it maybe i'll sing a christmas album one day i don't know thank you man pleasure to meet you thank Thank you you, congratulations thank you so much